Welcome to your Unboxing Legends TV. Today, we'll be previewing the return of the speed demon, Amir King Kong. He has to be today one of the fastest, if not the fastest fighter on the planet. Another show of hand speed by... Remember to help us out by smashing that like button and be sure to subscribe to the bookmaker first onto the British boxing scene at one of the best times possible your champion. Shortly followed by an Olympic silver medal, which made him the youngest medalist in British and blistering style. His hands were ridiculously fast. He scored KO after KO, with most coming by a 5, 6, or 7 punch combination. Chin, Bryce again. Blistering speed from Chin started fairly early on also. He was knocked down a couple of times by guys that were many levels below him in terms of skill. Holly Malinaji and Zab uh, yeah. We've seen four rounds I am on a minute, I'm a menace. Same thing. It's why and you can all the professor. Amir Khan. I don't got the time to put you on a schedule. Make it up. No. Khan's next loss was a controversial one to Lamont Peterson on points, but Khan bounced back in emphatic style. His wins over Luis Colazzo and Devin Alexander were so classy, he was being heavily linked to a possible Mayweather fight, which at that time would have been his last fight, and it was almost two years ago now. I'm not so sure a long layoff like this will be benefit, but only time will tell. Khan, on the other hand, cuts consistently during an outburst, and best of all, he usually gets things started by unsettling his opponent with a double jab. One ability to overextend his reach and catch as you can see, once Khan has backed his opponent up after throwing a few shots, he'll never give them that split second to recover, moving in with relentless aggression and intent. People seem to forget he was mere seconds away from stopping Marcos Maidana in round one of their fight in 2010, and before Danny Garcia kicked out. In those exchanges, Garcia's dangerous and makes him not be able to have punch. Flaws. Khan's offense has worked well against fighters that aren't the best natural counterpunch. To hit back, balance becomes a huge issue. In 16, he was met by a man that had a solid chin, an unpredictable counterpunch, good defense, and most importantly, his energy in every But Canelo drew out all the flaws we've seen from Khan in the past. Go back to the drawing block. Can he take world class punches? If he can't, then there's not a future. And that did cause quite the entire time his attitude let me at him, even when he ate punches. He's too quick and too slick, but I still think LaGreco will be more likely to score. Just looking to pick the shot. Oh, got him again. Big swinging left hook. Slavic Zimlovich in 2010, which still to this day is the best win on his record. With a much different purpose, and he has been. Quarter, but surprisingly, hung in there for the full 10 round distance, losing every round, but giving Showtime Sean a few things to think about. Good. Making with a pretty tight guard. To be fair, inside three record, rounds. You gotta be happy with how that first round went. He made oh, a good shot. Order to double up on those blows, which he's been doing. As believers tonight with those body shots. This is not an empty. Uh, uh, Bill's had his ups and downs since, and has even contemplated retirement, but the con fight seems to have reignited his passion, and he has given us a few things to talk about during their build. That he can have your leftovers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the stuff that's pretty much the deciding factor in picking a winner regardless of resume. Deep punch combination, a Khan's standout positive is his hand speed. Whether he wins or loses, Khan has never been involved in a fight where he hasn't thrown a plethora of combinations. By not there's no record. Let's do it. And what can Phil the Greco do to dampen this homecoming party? Good uppercut from Khan straight away. And it's right oh. shot, and he's down in the only 15 seconds. Phil the Greco with a right hand. Dimitri Salita early. Can he do it to Phil the Greco? He's all over the place. Let's get him hand speed on him. And it's all Four. over in 40 seconds. over the top it's as fast as a fast or faster than a one two you just can't see them coming his fastest dimitri salita was blown away of his world super lightweight title that he won against andreas katelnik but it wasn't as quick tonight he looked like he hadn't been away tonight we won't let 
all that much because it was obviously a quick... Took Phil Le Greco ten rounds. Errol Spence Jr. beat him in three, but it was a late-notice job for Le Greco, who said, thank you for giving me ten weeks of hard, intense preparation. He came over in his corner. They might not have thought they were going to win this, but they certainly thought they'd be in it. The one thing I noticed about when I was studying Le Greco for this fight in, in, in the preview and everything else is his defence. His defence was very good. He had very good arm defence. And as a result, I thought Khan will look good because he's going to be hitting gloves at least, even if it's not the target, it's gloves. And someone with the speed of Khan hitting...